Nostalgia is a fascinating feeling to have especially for my own personal life as I begin to reminisce about my time in college and look forward to a new future in a completely different environment than the one I'm used to. I think this is why I was drawn so much to Japanese media, especially in the last few years of my time in college, as for whatever reason I felt a sense of nostalgia for a place I'd never been to through these forms of media. Whether it be slice of life anime or Japanese city pop, these forms of media invoke something within me that reminded me of how good the past once was. With the future's mysteries still yet to be explored, having the courage to move on to a time that has endless possibilities can be especially scary, but it's through our past friendships and experiences that we're able to move forward together. I think this is why I was so drawn to Porter Robinson's Everything Goes On music video with Rai Games as it touched on this idea of nostalgia through the use of heavily inspired Japanese popular culture references. Porter Robinson and Rai Games use their cultural appreciation of Japan via anime, games, and music to tie this central idea of nostalgia together in order to create a compelling story. This story, animated by Rai Games and Red Dog Culture House, encompasses the idea of not letting a better past stop you from having a greater future. I think this is why I would nominate the team behind the Star Guardian project for a Japan and Diversity Award, as it was through the use of Japanese popular culture trends that have hit the United States within the past decade or so that they were able to share the story of perseverance to millions of people. In order to truly understand why I believe this to be true, let's take a stroll down memory lane and see where and why these Japanese trends were used in the making of this fantastic project. It all started in 2011. These lyrics remind me of Jinta's struggles to leave isolation, and it is through his friends alongside Menma that he's able to do so, showing the anime's massive influence on this song in particular. Being able to tell a story and exhibit emotions through his songs are what Porter Robinson takes influence from Japanese media like Anahana. Porter also mentions this being a standout in J-pop music in particular, as he said in an interview with Japanese singer Daoko. Porter describes how, quote, J-pop attains wider emotions, nostalgia, and bitter sweetness than Western music." End quote. Some musicians in Japan also gave various inspiration to his music as he was inspired by Takagi Masakatsu, who most notably wrote scores for Mamoru Hosoda's films Wolf Children, The Boy and the Beast, and Mirai. Porter sums up his love for Japanese culture well in a video Q&A done by Ask Me, stating, uh, Yeah, I think that there's a real appreciation for beauty in the culture that's very touching to me. Um, I was influenced by Japanese media at a very, very young age. I think a lot of Americans who were born in early 1990s were really influenced by Japanese culture um, because like, the most popular things were Nintendo and Pokemon. And, and um, so I think there's a nostalgic element for a lot of people like me. But I also grew up watching anime and uh, listening to Japanese music, and I don't know, I, it's just, it's just so appealing to me, um, and it's always a real treasure for me to be able to to go to Japan and share my music with people. It's it's amazing, and I, I'm always so excited to go. Wait, before you continue, you might be asking, now that the Anohana section is done, Hunter, did you watch Anohana for this project? Uh, well, internet. You're gonna enjoy this. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. Things. Things I've I've done done for this project. Oh my god, that sucked. Well, that's a transition, I guess. Anyways, on a lighter note, when looking at the visuals that both Riot Games and Red Dog Culture House put into this project, one can easily see the Japanese pop culture inspiration from the video they put together. In the first scene is a League of Legends character named Zaya. She is seen in a Japanese-style classroom facing the window looking out at a falling star. 
The camera shows she's in classroom 2-1, signifying that she's an upperclassman at this Japanese high school. She remembers sitting with her friend slash lover Rakan on the top of the classroom's roof, a common place for dialogue within anime. Zai continues to chase Rakan's feather, leading her to remember all the past time she spent with him. This reflection period of nostalgia that Zaya is going through is reminiscent of a lot of anime traits that characters have to go through, usually leading to some sort of act of courage. Rakan's feather leads her eventually to her friends as they stop her from chasing the feather off the top of the school, saving her in the process. The comfort they are able to show her is reminiscent of an anime film in particular, A Silent Voice, in which the main character, Shoya, also learns to find comfort in his friends around him as he deals with his own mental health struggles. I find a lot of similarities between this anime and the Star Guardian music video as it deals with the same topic of forgiving oneself for what they could have done in the past and moving on to a better future with those who care for them. This most explicitly deals with the other lead character of this music video, Kaisa, as she deals with the perceived loss of her friend Akali. Kaisa questions a lot about her involvement as a Star Guardian, which if you're curious what they are, it's more or less like a version of the Sailor Guardians that are portrayed in the anime, Sailor Moon. They even tie a direct reference to Sailor Moon as Kaisa struggles internally to take up the oath of protecting others as she couldn't protect her friend, Akali. Learning to continue on with her journey as Akali would have wanted her to, she has a transformation scene reminiscent of Sailor Moon's as she turns into her star guardian form. Remembering her time spent with Akali, she continues forward, determined to fight whatever evil may hurt her friends further. I think these nods being references to Japanese anime definitely work in the world of this music video, as the audience who is watching this video grew up in the same anime boom era experienced within the past decade. Being on the internet playing Riot Games based games like League of Legends and Valorant has definitely fostered new communities to enjoy Japanese media through events like this Star Guardian event. All the while having massive successes in promoting their own video games through doing pop-up events at anime conventions like Anime Expo. And speaking of AX, here's actually me from the event last year, and talking about nostalgia, Riot Games provided such a fantastic opportunity to explore a world which combined various passions of mine, leading me to continue to explore both worlds in a new way. Well, I guess this is it. As I look back and reminisce on my own journey of exploring Japanese popular culture, it's really quite interesting. I had no idea that my passion would have led to this position I'm in today. I wouldn't have been able to experience different Japan-based cultural events with various communities or even as simple as being able to share my thoughts about anime with over 100,000 people. I guess you could think that one to JoJo's. Most importantly, it was through the love that led me to meet some of the kindest and most caring individuals who I call friends today. It was you all who helped me make it through the struggle of finding myself these past couple of years and gave me the support as I pursued a dream just this past year. Now that the dream is coming to a reality, there's a lot of anxiety and stress that is associated with this. It almost makes me want to, you know, go back to a time where life was simple and I could run away. I think that's what connected me with everything goes on as I now feel for the characters in the video even more. As they try to live a life where each day brings new challenges, clinging on to an easier and more secure past. It's through those close to you that you're able to overcome these challenges and face them together, and I hope to be there for you all as you were there for me.